So, welcome to Healing Pastures and Apocalypse Gardens, and today I want to share with you a little adventure I had with my dad yesterday, and uh, <laughs> we uh, we made some sauerkraut, and we got the cabbages from my friends at Adirondack Growers, and they're huge cabbages, and uh, just, uh, if you want to learn how to make sauerkraut, this video is going to help you do that, but watch all the way to the end because I have a little pig me up for you at the very end. And, uh, I think, I think you're going to enjoy this and, and just, you know, keep this as your recipe. It's pretty easy. We explore everything in detail with lots of excitement, lots of thrills, spills, action, explosions, car chases. No, not, not, not many of those. Anyway, so hope you enjoy it. Stick around to the end. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and give us a thumbs up thing and leave a comment and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll see you on the inside. Boom. All right. So the day is unfolding, interestingly enough, in, uh, in our kind of daily ritual. My, my old man and I, we usually have what we call second cup um, around 11 o'clock. And... Uh, then after that, we work on the next thing. And uh, so I got some cabbages yesterday at Adirondack Growers. And we're going to make us some uh, mighty delicious sauerkraut. But of course, my dad has a gizmo. <laughs> yeah. And if we put the two by four just underneath that other end, underneath that. then it will fall right in the bucket below. That's right. All right. And, and just leave it there and I'll put the two by four okay. right, where, yeah. right where it needs to be. All right. Oh, this is exciting. Oh boy, adventures and gizmos. Here we go. I think that'll work. All right. Okay. So these have grooves on each side. Yeah, sure. And it goes in there. And this is all designed so you don't end up slicing your knuckles. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Or your fingertips. Yeah, right. So, and so the, the cabbage has got to fit inside there. It has to go in here. But a nice chunk. Yeah, so that I can at least put my hand down on it. Right. And, but, but not any lower than right. that. Right, there you go. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll get the cabbage going. Okay. Oh, I forgot the cabbage. Wait till you see these cabbages. There's a cabbage. I don't know if I can get it out with one hand. Good God, that is a big freaking cabbage. go. Of course, I can't hold the camera and cut, so and I'm not going to set up another camera. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, well, I got it cut in half. This is a big cabbage, nice, dense cabbage. Just wash those fingertips, Shepard. Oh, I see what you're going to do. You're going to put another one on top of it. Mm -hmm. That way you don't have to. There you go. And then you use that to hold down the other thing. So you're using it all. There you go. Hey, <laughs> you're eating the you're eating the stuff. Evidently, you can eat cabbage raw. Who knew? All right. Well, my dad is working on the cabbage. Before I have to cut more, but I want to talk about the kind of salt we're using. This is Redmond Real Salt. And I got this from the guy, uh, Melvin Martin, who I get my pig feed from. It's for human consumption. Mined in America. It's got amazing taste because it says so right on the bag. And it's unrefined mineral salt. Ancient sea salt for everyday use.
There's your tablespoon. Okay, you can get that out of the way. You gotta work out again, man. You're getting weak. <laughs> here's, your, here's your knife. Yeah, well. I don't think you I need can, to I don't be that precision be. precise. Okay, so. There's one. There's one. <laughs> I gotta get up. I didn't get any of that. I thought I was recording. Oh, you're gonna stand. Get more leverage. Well, I have to get down to the bottom. Oh, there, there you go. Okay. No. okay. As we discussed when the camera wasn't rolling, you yeah. did wash your hands. Yes, I did. Last week. Yeah, last week. You wash them once a week, whether they need it or not. Yeah, Got right. it. Okay. Yeah. But it's okay. It's okay, because um, the um, active organism that will turn this into sauerkraut will overwhelm <laughs> any bacteria that was on my. Head. Anyway. Well, okay. that's good. But you did wash your hands, and that's okay. just a caring, sharing thing to do. And now. I gotta transfer it. So there. Oh, what are you doing there? Packing it in. Oh, you gotta pack it in. Yeah. So when they say, let's pack so, it in, that's what yeah. you mean. And, and you're uh, kind of pushing down on it. Yeah, pushing down on it. Packing so that it in. What? We want to wind up with. There's no air in there. <laughs> oh yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, right. Packing it in. They're so strong. Okay, so that's five pounds. All right, and just put the lid on there just for yeah, to keep hygiene, up. hygienically speaking. So you're not pushing down tremendously hard. You're no. kind of letting just gravity and whatever's in that little box yeah, kind of right, do the work, right, right. do so, the weight. So, Because I remember I tried to use this once or something like it and I got frustrated and I think I was pushing the cabbage down too hard. Well, you got you're just letting it kind of glide over and take a slice off. You have to have a little momentum. Yeah. Oh boy, what a mess. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun to make a mess. That's why we're doing it out here. I know. In the house. Because we're very neat in the house. <laughs> we never make messes in the house. <clears throat> it's the beauty of two bachelors. I always have the... Uh, the odd couple of music running through my head when we do this thing, these kinds of things. Do 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 do. He's using both hands. All right, so now we will weigh up some more while you're doing that. So the big key that I need to emphasize for our three viewers yeah. is that you want to mash that cabbage down in there yeah. as tight okay. as you can. Yeah, that's you don't need a jackhammer, but you really need to kind of press, press it down, put your force into it because yeah. you're trying to get rid of the air. Yeah, right. And then three tablespoons to every five pounds. Yeah. I remember when I made my first batch, I thought that was such little salt. Because I always think of sauerkraut as being salty, you know. It just seemed like three tablespoons, that's it for a five pounds? And I made a batch. You know, I just made a five pound batch. And it came out just fine. It's like, wow, a little salt goes a long way, evidently. All right. Oh, you're doing great here, Dad.
I like I like videotaping you at work. <laughs> Very inspiring to the young people. <laughs> I think those two cabbages are going to be the perfect amount. So anyway, so a plate, those brown plates that'll fit perfectly in there. Yeah. And then you'll put the rock on top of it. Yep. And the top on top. And then the top on top, <laughs> but you don't seal the top. No. But you let it sit so gas is going to escape. Yeah, right. Gas is going to be created. Mm -hmm. And there is a vent in the top of the... There's a vent right there. Yeah. That's good. Is this a special sauerkraut bin? Well... Or is it... We've oh, used... Look. Yeah, it's got a little vent. Perfect. We've used it for other things besides... <laughs> sauerkraut okay so all right so where do you want to keep it you want to uh, what's I, a temperature that it need, just needs well, to be it room needs temperature? To be a room temperature okay so we'll take we'll keep it, in, it in the house keep it in the house i'll carry it okay and uh then i'll come clean up the mess you made look at this okay. look at the mess he made yeah. we're gonna carry this in hopefully without knocking you over All right, so that's traditionally where he makes it. So I gotta get a plate. We're gonna use the one with the crack in it. All right, so. Oh yeah, if we put the plate right side up, we'll be able to get out again. And uh, I gotta use two hands for this rock, so I'm gonna have you hold the camera. Oh. You hold the camera. I'm, hold gonna, the camera. I'm gonna put the rock in there. <laughs> and then there's the rock. Oh shoot. I can do it that way too, right? Yeah. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be. Right. It just has to be pushing down. Right, yeah. And that way I can get it out again. But if I put it flat, like, yeah. It might not be able to get it, might it out. Might not be able to. Okay. And then we put the lid on. Yep. But we don't seal the lid. No, we don't. Um, yeah, and it's got the vent. So we're good. Yeah. Done. Done. And it's only 126. Six or eight or something like that. Uh, so what time do we start doing that? Uh, that was not even an hour. No. So, so yeah, and now we have like sauerkraut for almost a year probably. <laughs> well, not yet. Well, not yet. How long does it take? Depends. It all depends. <laughs> Joel Salatin uh, in his Meadow Talk was saying how, you know, there's a lot in this grass farming that's like, it depends. Yeah, it, Do you put a lot of animals in at once yeah. or move them through fast? Well, yeah. it depends. Yeah. It right. depends. I think that's yeah. a, it depends. That's a really mm -hmm. good, uh, yeah. good answer for everything. That's why <laughs> we have to uh, think about what we're doing and how we're doing it. And, and uh, make adjustments. There you go. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for doing that. And uh, well, thanks for helping. Now, now you can take a nap. And I'm, now you can. I'm gonna clean go clean up. up yeah. Right. Yeah. I can, can clean, clean up, up after up you. <laughs> yeah. The pigs are gonna be happy though. I'm taking us out to them. You got. It. Boom. There we go. See if I can just reach over. There we go. There's a girl. <laughs> and Twinkle Toes is in here like, Hey, what do I get? Come get your tummy rubbed. It's the way to go. Happy? You happy getting your tummy rubbed? I like behind her ears. 
very nice. Okay, so I got tummy rubber. Rub tummy. Rub a tummy. You're so good girl. So, I had to go to the hardware store to get a bucket because the five gallon bucket that we put the sauerkraut, the cabbage in, started leaking. I saw this leak in the basement over the furnace and I was like, what is going on? And it turns out, I don't know, the bucket cracked. It didn't last forever. My dad is heartbroken. <laughs> in his mind, a bucket like that should last forever. So anyway, I got a new one. Here, I'll show you. Look at that, brand new spanking new one. And now we gotta go home and put all the contents of the other one into this one and I better get going, so I better stop talking. Boom. All right, here it is, proof. Proof of what two men can do to bring order to the universe. <laughs> 